Good morning, modern steaders. It was 46 degrees out yesterday for a high with a lot of rain, and this morning it's 16 degrees out. Ah, it's gonna be interesting to see how the brook is. We ended up getting the new game camera late last night. It was about, I don't know, it was almost nine o'clock. So before that, we set up the other game camera, and this morning we'll go across the brook. We'll see what the game camera got, and we'll put out the new one. Morning, boys. Morning. So, so far, none of the goats have gone back into heat. Blossom and Willow have gone into heat once and been put in with the boys. Buttercup has not gone into heat at all. So hopefully she goes into heat any day now. And we're gonna st stick her with Zeke and we'll give Zeke another try. <sighs> so, keeping my fingers crossed that any day now that'll happen. Gina said yesterday that yesterday's date was the date that Willow got pregnant last year. Fingers crossed that she's pregnant already. If not, if she comes back into heat, we'll stick her back with Caleb. It's been nice being able to feed the girls out here in the pasture. Let's begin to spread their manure and urine. And the leftover hay that they leave behind, it's good for the pasture too. You girls coming? Come on. I can't get over how much snow melted last night. Your hay's out here, Blossom. It's out here. There you are, Hope. What are you up to? The hay's out there for you. You're not the first one. Oh, it sure is nice seeing all that green grass. I don't like this ice, but... Whoa! <laughs> Morning chickens. What do you think of all that green grass? You like it? Oh, I guess it's brown over here. What do you think of all that dirt? You don't say, do you? I think our ugly hen's starting to grow her feathers back. She's looking a lot better. Oh, I'm glad for her. She wasn't looking pretty there for a while. I can't believe how much of the snow we lost overnight. Oh man, look at that. All right, so we're gonna go down below. We got one game camera out there where it was last time. And then we're gonna set up our new game camera down here where we saw the big predator tracks by the brook. All right, we're gonna cross here. And we're gonna go set it up on that ash tree right there. And I don't get anything coming this way or this way. Or do we do it here? We do it here. That would work too, guys, right here. Bring it that way and this way. Let's try setting it up right here first. I think that'll work good right here. Turn it on. Uh, we want to put it, it's off, test on. I'll set it up and we'll see what happens, guys. We'll check it. Ah, the light's on, so I guess it's working. Let's see, I hope that's the right angle of the dangle. All right, let's check, go run over to the other camera and take the memory card out and we'll see what we got. The brook is flowing pretty good. Got some runoff coming this way. Some tracks, they're older tracks. See a pile of animal scat. That, I bet you. Is coyote or a cat? It's frozen. What kind of scat do you think that is? That ain't no deer. Let's swap out our cards. Welcome. All right. No 
Now we get to see what we saw last night. I want to thank Olight for sponsoring today's video. I really love their flashlights. They're nice, strong, and durable. They just sent me up this new headlamp one. It's called the Perun. I've really been enjoying it. It's got a head strap, and you can take it off, and it's a flashlight. It's got a couple of different modes. Turn it on. You get turbo there, so it gets really bright. It shines up to 2,000 lumens. They're really strong and durable. They're rechargeable. I love the way that you can recharge these. But they're also waterproof, so I thought, why not give it the test? We're gonna throw it in the brook, guys. Now this is some cold water. This isn't just regular water. I'm gonna put a few wraps along this. This is cold, frigid, mountain runoff snow water. Let's turn it on. We'll give it the old dip. Woohoo! Holy moly, I just went in. All right. I filled my boot up. Look at that. The light's still working. Boy, my toes are getting wet. That current's moving it pretty good. <sighs> Look at that. Still working strong, guys. It's even got ice all over it. Look at that. Bam, still going strong. Tell you what, my right foot's cold. It's full of water. We've been using Olight flashlights for over a year now. And man, I just love them. They're high quality durability, but I'm awesome. I'm excited to be getting this new headlamp. I've never used this one before. Look, it's magnetic. <laughs> and then it's got a strap. Bam, and twist it up, twist it down, off, on different brightnesses. There's an SOS mode. So that way if you get lost in the woods and you want to turn it on, you can have your strobe going so people can find you. Like right now, like if I was out in the wilderness and I got frostbite in my foot, I could turn my SOS light on and hopefully somebody would find me. Right now, Olight's having a sale from December 16th to the 19th. Most everything on their website is 40% off. I'm gonna have a link in the video description down below for that. I want to thank Olay for supporting us and sponsoring today's video. It's because of sponsors like Olay and viewers like you guys that we're able to do what we do, making the content we make. So thank you all. Go check out Olay, see some of their flashlights. We've been enjoying them on the homestead. They've been durable and we haven't broke any yet. I really wasn't expecting the brook to be that deep right there. We were up over the my knee guys. So this morning I want to get the back door of the right side stall on it's towards where the hay is so that way when we want to go feed the goats out back we can use that door easy. So we got to get the goats locked out without them coming in the back area. <laughs> I think they're going to head back there before we can get back there. So we might have to get out some more fresh hay and trick them. There you go. Morning, Hope. We got four out of the seven. So Buttercup and Blossom are not in heat. They just chill. Oh. What are you two doing? Where's mom? So we just got Willow we need to get out. They always think we got food. That's why they want to come find us. Can't do it quick enough. There we go. There you go. Nope, you're getting locked out today, girl. I know, you don't like that, but you got plenty of hay. Ah, there we go. Look, Hope's still down there by herself. Now we can work back here and we won't have the goats on top of us. So we can get this door hung, which would be nice to have this all done and enclosed. So first, 
We gotta get that down and get the trim work all figured out. Yep. All right, so we want to have the door hinged on this side so it can go here. So the first thing we need to do is get our piece of trims cut. So let's go two inches low. So if we've got two of them at 74. Yeah, let's cut two of them at 74. And we can figure out the rest after. So we decided on this to be our trim. So let's cut two of them so and get that installed. Get our doors up, guys. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Let's bring our level out with us and a square. One of the things we're gonna do with this side of the barn come springtime is we'll be using it for all of our baby animals. When we have our baby goats, we'll be using this back half right here for our kidding stalls. This front half will be storage, and if we need it in the springtime for our baby piglets, we can use that for the piglets. We don't want it to be very versatile, so we can use it for just, just different things. There's, there's always so much changing on a homestead, whether it's seasonal or just, you always need to be versatile and be able to switch up whenever you can. So that's what this side of the barn is for. It's gonna be for whatever we need it for at the moment. All right, so I want our trim just to drop down just a smidge past that. So. If Let's see, if we do this, if we make a mark right there, so right there, so just a smidge, and then if we come down a little bit more, let's say go here, right, drop it down right there, all right, and then we'll run a level line across. Grab another battery when we go in. That's level right there. That's plumb, I should say. All the way down. Yep. You gotta stay out, Buttercup. It'll be a little bit. You'll be able to come back in. All right. That's that. We're gonna leave that one off for now because we wanna go get our door. We'll get the door out here and positioned in place, and then we'll go from there. I like using the National Hardware Heavy Duty Gate Hinges for our door hinges. Grab the bottom of our door. inches and five inches and we don't these hinges are not square the whole way so we don't want to make a huge line because it's not going to get um, covered up so you'll still be able to see it so we just want to make a little line Right, right there. I like it.
Park Slick. I like that a lot. Let's flip the door over and do the same thing. Bam. Just trying to make sure that my spacing right there looks even. And they are. I want to get the hinges as square as possible. Now we gotta figure out our overall height. We have 41 plus 32, so we got 73. So if we go 32 there. Now we gotta figure out what we need for a spacer to get that. Oh, look at that. Pretty close. That'll give us, get us in the neighborhood anyways. That's pretty close right there. I wonder if it's level. It's pretty close. We gotta go up just a whisker on this side. So we're right here we're gonna be going into the trim, the siding, and then we got a two by four in the back. All right, so we gotta get this bottom one lifted up a smidge. Too much? No, not enough. Right there. All right, let's check that. good right there. Let's take this trim mark. We'll use that as our spacer for the top. All right, so now we gotta do the same thing. And mark, oops, all this stuff. So five inches. Tell you what, them frozen goat turds when you nail on them hurt. It's like nailing on a pebble. I know we're having a lot of people saying, Al, you should have done this all in the summertime and fall. The thing is, if we would have taken care of all the barn projects, we wouldn't have got our firewood shed built. And that was just as much of a priority as the barn build was. It's nice this winter having a structure for our firewood. Awesome. We'll use a couple of tricks that we use on hanging the other doors for these ones. I'll show you that in a minute. So we got that spacer put in the bottom. That is so we want an even gap in the door. Perfect. I like it. The hardest part about these double hung doors 
is making sure you have all the hinges square and level and that everything is up level and plumb so that way when you open the door you're not fighting and binding on itself putting this trim piece up last so that way I can make my gap to match the door In the same way with the way we designed this door, it overlaps so there's no gap. So the air can't blow when the door is cold to keep all the drafts out. And then also when you open the bottom part of the door, boom, the top comes and you can leave the top open and just the bottom closed, but you can't leave just the top closed with the way that this is designed. a nice good air seal nice and tight there all these little bits and pieces take time but man when it's all said and done it's worth it stop and your ear seal and it just looks nice all right so now we got to get our door handle on i ended up finding some matching door latches like that we got with the rest of the barn on amazon i'll put a link to them in the video description down below they're a different brand these ones are made by national hardware That's the style that came with the barn kit. And this is the National Hardware one. It's pretty similar. I like it. I really like these because you can access them from the inside and outside. Bam. So if we go two inches down, yeah, I like that. Inches. So be three and three quarter. And I said from the edge, we need it to be two and seven eighths. I think we got that figured out, right? Only one way to find out. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, put this one through here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I like it. I just love these latches. They just work so good. Just love that style. I gotta switch out all the other latches I have on the homestead for this. But before we go too crazy, let's make sure this works. Yep. Perfect. Cool beans.
the goats back in. <laughs> love it. I love it. Sorry. I love it. I love it. All right. We got the goats back in over here. Get their stall opened up. Want to come in? You just want to see what I've been up to, huh? I'm going to raise this gate up some. There you go. And then I can sneak out this way. See ya! <laughs> I'm gonna set this camera up and do a time lapse of this door. So I wanna get this door done today so you guys don't have to watch two days worth of videos of installing doors. So sit back, relax. It'll probably take me all or about two minutes on your end to get this done. Why, hello there. Hello. Welcome to the barn. <laughs> <laughs> now we can go inside and warm up. It's cold out. One of our hams. We're gonna glaze it or not glaze it? I say not glaze it. We'll see how this one is. We can always glaze the next one. You know, watch out. It's like, I want some of that ham. Potatoes made, and gravy made. I'll have to come out later and see it on. It's a solar powered sunlight in a mason jar. Oh, you should go that way and see what me and mom did today. I see you. Hello. Hello. Up this way and feed the girls. Yeah. Okay, ready? Maybe. Hi, Gonies. We're gonna go way out, girls. Hey, look, we're going way out. Are you king of the hay bale? You do realize there's other hay, right? You got this one all to yourself, Hope. There you go. Put that one there just for you. Oh. Oh. Now Blossom wants some. She's hungry. How many eggs? Four. Four? Yep. I'll say five today. It's it was so pretty. Inspection. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty nice out yesterday. One, two, 
three, four. You were right. Yay! I was right two days in a row. You were. She's using you for your grain pail. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody else has come over. You're awful friendly this afternoon, Buttercup. Buttercup says, don't leave me. She's like, maybe she dropped some grain. I'll sniff for it. Mary, kiss, kiss moose. Mary, kiss moose. It's hard to say that. Tongue twister. Huh? It's a tongue twister. It smells good. Look up, Kimmy. Dogs are waiting to have a bite. Back up. Go. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. Time to heal yet. Still you fight with what you're told And hold on to your scars and wounds and pass a fall Man, that ham is delicious. We might have to build ourselves a nice big real smokehouse, guys, for a winter project this winter. What do you think of that? Oh, that'd be a good one. I checked the game camera card guys again and nothing. There's so many animals out there. They must be like eluding our game cameras. They know they're out there and they're walking around them. I don't know. But man, I just want to see what's out there. I want to see if it's a fox, a coyote, a bobcat, or what it is. One of these days, I'm going to get it. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.